We begin with some breaking news at 9 o'clock and a shooting near Betty Fairfax High School in Levine, which caused some panic and chaos during a football game there tonight. No one hurt, but the whole stadium was evacuated during the game tonight against South Mountain. Well, that game was just two minutes from halftime when those gunshots rang out. Our Jerry Ferguson is up over the scene in our Lions Roofing News Chopper with a look at what is going on out there tonight now. Jerry? Well, you know, the uh, game is continuing, but there were ten some tense moments, I'm sure, uh, as uh, those shots rang out near the stadium. Uh, looks like the players are back on the field. This is Betty Fairfax High School playing against South Mountain High School. Uh, the stands are, there's. it looks like probably parents, and uh, the, the, the stands are definitely not full, but probably parents and, uh, and other friends in the stands uh, there. So it looks like uh, after evaluating whether it was safe. Uh, we saw the refs and the police conferring. It looks like they decided that it was safe to get back on the field. This was just moments ago, and now uh, back to a live shot. They're back playing the game. So that's what it looks like right now over Betty Fairfax High School, 59th Avenue and Baseline. Jerry, thank you. And on part of the screen, we're watching some video shot by Eric Sorensen earlier tonight. This is kind of a chilling picture there as a number of the players who were on the field at the time kind of ducked for cover when they heard the gunshots from off campus, which is what we're being told by police. And you could see all the family members who are out for a good time on a Friday night kind of streamed out of there. Yeah, and they're all starting to file back in now. But can mm -hmm. you imagine just clearing that stadium, all of those stands, getting everybody out of there? Uh, but again, that game just resuming a couple of minutes ago uh, there were reports of some kind of a white Camaro mm -hmm. leaving the scene so we'll have to follow up on that we do have our Spencer Blake headed to the game right now to find out more about what happened and we'll bring you his live report when he gets more information Terry thank you